This is the solution to question 2, paper 1 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Exemplar Higher Exam. We're given this graph and we're told the nature of its formula. We're not told everything about that formula. I have unknowns K, A and B. And the question asks us to find these unknowns. We do know three x-axis intercepts and we know a point that lies on the curve. Now let's go back to these x-axis intercepts where x is negative 1, x is 0 and x equals 2. So to find these normally for x-axis intercepts we solve the equation when is y equal to 0 or in this case f of x equals 0. So we set f of x equal to 0. So that means in this case kx times x plus a x plus b must equal 0. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 factors multiplied together give you 0. So one of them must be 0. Suppose it was k. Now the function itself k equals 0, if that was the case, we'd have a function f of x equals 0. We would not get this cubic function. We'd just get a straight line. Um, well, we'd get the x-axis. So k does not equal 0. So one of these three factors equals 0. Either x equals 0, in which case we get this intercept, or x plus a equals 0, in which case x is negative a, that would be one of the other two intercepts, or x plus b equals 0, x equals negative b. So between these two, we must connect these with either of these two um, intercepts. It doesn't matter the order. So uh, let's associate that x equals negative 1. So in this case, will let a be 1, in which case x is negative 1. That ties up with that one. And in this case, we'll let a b be equal to negative 2, in which case here x would be negative of negative 2. That's 2, and that would give us that one. Um, so there we have the value of a and b. So what have we got so far? We've got the fact that this function is some unknown factor k times x times x plus 1 times x minus 2. And the only other piece of information we know is that it passes through the point 1, 2. So we'll say that since 1, 2 lies on the curve, then we know a further fact that when x equals 1, y equals 2. So f of 1, k times 1, times 1 plus 1, times 1 minus 2, when we substitute x equals 1 in there, we get the value 2. So that gives us k times, that's 2, 1 multiplying by 1 doesn't make any difference. And this factor gives us a minus 1. That all comes to 2. So k times negative 2, that's negative 2k equals 2. Therefore, k equals, divide both sides by negative 2, k equals negative 1. So there's the value of k.